What's up, everybody? Um, pardon me, but my internet is absolute freaking garbage today. I don't know what the problem is, but I'm watching just lag spike after lag spike after lag spike. Um, I don't get it. <laughs> I'm trying to wait for it to stabilize here. Come on, dog. I wonder if we get started if it'll work. Anyway. Alright, so already, as you can tell from the title, we are starting on the community project for the Idaho DLC. I have a run ready to rock and roll. These are World of Trucks contracts exclusively for at least, looks like nine more we gotta do. Um, hey, Captain B, what's up, buddy? <laughs> hey, man, thanks for having my back last night. Uh, I don't know if I told you thank you for that, but I do appreciate it. Uh, some people, man. <laughs> All right, anyway, let's get started. I got shit to do. How is everybody this morning? How is everybody? Oh, my God, that's horrible. Dude. Okay. <laughs>
All right, so we've already got our route set. I am turning off that F3 route advisor because it aggravates the piss out of me. There we go. Headlights on. Let's do it. Oh, we almost forgot the tunes, didn't we? Okay, so today, no copyright strikes whatsoever. You guys need to let me know if the music is too loud. Ain't nobody going to disrespect the dude. Yeah, man, that, that's the same. I, I was waiting because he didn't actually disrespect me personally until right at that last sentence you know what i mean and i was just waiting and then when i saw him do that i went to go ban his stupid ass and i couldn't like my function was blocked from doing it so uh, you know i'm just glad you had it <laughs> yeah post it on discord post it on discord Anyway, uh, this band here is my baby brother's band, so we are not getting any copyright strikes today. The intro song that you heard was also from the same band. So let me know if the music is too loud so I can uh, make the appropriate um, modifications. It shouldn't be too loud, but if it is, I need to know. I mean, it's supposed to be loud music anyway, but you got to be able to hear me too. <laughs> Is okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Very good. All right. This was supposed to be Frambo today, but Frambo is a five-chapter game, and this is Friday, so I don't know what I was thinking um, scheduling it that way. But since Idaho dropped yesterday, I figured, what the hell? We'll just go ahead and do this. Uh, I did two contracts already. Um, and if you saw it in the route three in the F3 route advisor, I actually have a couple of like 18 or 19 million dollars. That's because I put a mod on long enough to get a jump start on this profile so we didn't have to grind it out. That way we can go anywhere we want. Yeah, but we'll pretty much be just kind of sticking around Idaho. Oh man, I don't know. There's been a lot of lag spikes just in this DLC too. So some of this not only my internet, but um, lag spikes on this new map. Alrighty then, baby. We shouldn't need fuel for a while because this truck I'm rocking's got 150 gallons on each side for a grand total of 300. Today my cat destroyed my cooler. How did he destroy your cooler? And why is my team viewer cranking up? What the hell? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Of course, of course. How you doing, bud? Brother, how you been? Yeah, man. Uh, I had to do Idaho today. I mean, I, I, I could have done it yesterday and just done an off-schedule stream, but everybody and their brother was doing this yesterday. So, uh, rather than try to, um, can't play, wait. I can play Euro Truck Sim. I can't, so. You can't? Why can't you? You don't have it? Anyway, um, I could have done this yesterday, but everybody was doing it, and I didn't want to buy for, uh, I didn't feel like fighting for that much. You know, I didn't feel like fighting for attention that much, is what I meant to say. Not enough coffee this morning. Yeah, you're still off work. Yeah, we should play some Borderlands too, man, before you go back. Yeah, everything else was it. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't even think I, I didn't stream yesterday. And where the. Okay. I, I, I think I should have been in that lane over there. No? <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, well, it's a good thing I turned off traffic infractions. Fuck it. Let's go. Get out of my way. 
Maybe tomorrow you might have your mic. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, I saw, um, I was watching all these folks streaming yesterday, and it, it was almost exclusively American Truck Sim. So I was like, well, I'm not even getting involved in this shit. <laughs> I'll just wait. Wait. Maybe tomorrow, but might not have my, okay, all right, might not have a mic. I got you. Well, that's going to make it a little bit difficult. <laughs> I guess uh, we just do like we always do. You take point, I'll take up the six, and we'll just go for it. Come on, motherfucker. I'm just going to run this light in a minute. Come on. <laughs> Alright, so I don't see any mods out there. So I'll be doing uh, the ad thing myself today. Unless somebody pops in, which is cool. We do it Q20, so... Um, I don't really have to, I suppose. But... I'm probably going to... I don't know. Let's see. I'm back. Where'd you go, bud? I didn't even know you left. You didn't say anything. We do have alert command if you gotta take off. Exclamation mark alert. And it's really cool, dude. Metal for life. Boy, you bet. You bet. <laughs> this is my baby brother's band, by the way. For anyone interested. The name of the band is Senezra. From California, baby. Yeah. I got a feeling though when the two hours is up you guys are going to be sick of it because <laughs> I'm going to play it on a loop basically because this this video here or uh, excuse me this stream is going straight to YouTube um, today like as soon as it's done. And if I get a copyright strike on this video I know something. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I have a command for you to pull up the YouTube. It's on a like, timer, so it'll just pop up. Um, just keep an eye out for it if you're interested. Failing that, I think you can actually just go into Google and do a search if you wanted to find me. I'm not sure if you can, because, you know, I'm nobody, but you might be able to. Yeah, same name. I, I I don't change my username. I'm I'm the same guy everywhere. That way it's easy for people to find me, which is both a blessing and a curse. <laughs> so Mom Games Hard, my hero, is currently streaming the same game that I'm streaming and I was over there visiting her channel a little bit this morning before I got started and they are just having a blast over there, guys. Um, it, it's all good. It's all good. I, I clipped. She crashed actually, and I clipped it, and then it's on. It's on her Discord now. She is running a no damage mod, same as me this morning. Like neither one of us are giving any fucks this morning in regards to the rules of the game. Hey, we don't have nope. Today you kids get to be ornery as hell. <laughs> if Captain B's still out here, I might make him a moderator. Come on, this thing should be able to get up to speed, man. Six hundred and twenty five horses, it better get up to speed. You don't need the brights on. I don't even know what time it is. Let's see what time it is. Looks like it's getting ready to be like it's a little after four. Okay, good.
Yeah, I have a whole team of moderators, but just like everybody else, they get busy. Yeah, probably, probably. That's cool, because I'm not going to run the first ad until 10 till, so in about 8 minutes. I've got a copy and paste command over here on my second screen, so all I got to do is hit it. Miss Laura already said that she may be busy today. She didn't know if she'd be able to be here. And I just saw, I think I just saw that either Siren went live or she um, was talking in the Discord. I'm not sure which. And I think I saw Death Muffin somewhere earlier today, aside from the Discord. So I don't know. We just see where it goes. I mean, we're only going for two hours. So it really doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, you, you know what? You might as well, dude. You might as well. If it's longer than a paragraph, though, I won't be able to read it. At least not without pausing. And I won't read it out loud if it's super long. Okay? Is that a creepy pasta, or is that a is that something you found on the internet that's a fact? Because that's gross. <laughs> you take it. Uh, oh, creepy fact. Yeah, that's gross, man. Best if you sleep with your mouth open, right? <laughs> you. I know two people in my life that if you told them that, they'd die of a fucking thrill. <laughs> Holy Idaho, Batman. Okay, so I'm going to try to stick exclusively to Idaho. Like, I'm not taking runs outside of the state. Um, mostly because I want to see shit. Um, I'd like to get a good look at this whole DLC, and we're only running for two hours today, so. And apparently there are some special areas here with cutscenes. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Again, yesterday I only did, you know, like two or three rooms. Uh, let's see. I don't think the Japanese and Chinese bother. Oh, I don't know, man. Maybe. 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 <laughs> Maybe, baby. So my little refurbished laptop, my second screen, is over here doing some kind of a driver update without my permission. Dirty son of a bitch. <laughs> Boise, Idaho. What's up? What's the speed limit here? 70? Alright, we good. Good. I have 8K right... Yeah, man. I, I'm, I'm working on more ways for you guys to spin those still. Um, I don't know what else to do with them, though. Uh, we are trying to come up with some award systems in the Discord. Uh, one of them, one of the awards being uh, to stream with me for a day. For one stream, you know. Uh, want to redeem VIP? Oh, the, the, the VIP for life? I got you. I got you. Well, you're almost there, aren't you? No, I think I set that one up to like a million, so you got a way to go. Yo, what's up? Okay, so there's a mod. Okay, guess what, Mr. Mod Man? In about four minutes, I need you to do the thing, if you would be so kind. Late for games, and shout yourself out, too, while you're at it. Late for games is also a streamer and my right-hand man on this channel, guys. I'm going to just cut that dude off. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, late for games just showed up. That's your that's your moderator for right now, so if you need anything right now you hit him up. 
All right, and there's his uh, there's his channel. Stop by, give him a visit. He's a pretty awesome streamer himself. Dog shit feet for the win. <laughs> No, see, you can't do that command, kiddo. Only moderators got that privilege. <laughs> Big bad mod, yeah. No matter how you throw it up there, it's not going to work, bud. <laughs> Minecraft commands, this is American Truck Sim, kid. What you talking about? <laughs> there you go, cool. Thank you for giving that shout out. And off two. I never played that game. What's the premise? Well, what is standoff two about? Oh no! Oh, I don't know if I can do that, guys. <laughs> okay, it's a mobile version of CS uh, CS deal. Cool. All right, you know what? From the look of that setup, I wasn't gonna be able to do it anyway. Wow, where they wanted it way over there. Holy shit! All right, well, forget that. <laughs> I'm a punk. I knew I had it. Optimus Prime truck. Yeah, kinda. Kinda. See. And we got our, yeah, three. Alright, so we need to find another one. World of trucks. All right on these contracts you cannot drive faster than 65 your truck is actually governed at 65 miles an hour i am trying to stay inside of idaho so we're gonna go right here they only need to be at least 100 miles two ports there we go there's idaho and we have to deliver to and or from certain cities as well but i seem to be getting just fine let's see that's 300 miles uh, you know what? Yeah, what the hell? Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, Laura's here. Yeah, another moderator. That's right. <laughs> you got distracted with... No, no problem, Laura. I get distracted all the time. I'm like a kid. <laughs> Just glad you're here. Only moderators here? No, I don't think so. Not with uh, eight people here. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't have that many. <laughs> All right, man. Um, I don't think we'll be able to do it before noon, but my my plan was to actually finish all these before. Um, all 11 of them before we uh, stop but I don't think that's gonna happen because we got two hours and uh, I guess I should have took another run but since I'm already committed to the one I just took distracted by Amazon oh man I'm, I'm with you there I, I don't agree with uh, some things about Amazon but I do 
Especially lately, like the last couple of months, man, I, I should just buy stock in that company. <laughs> Distracted by cat pee. Ugh. Me and that kitty would have to go round and round pissing all over my house like that. <laughs> yeah, there's my YouTube link, uh, MD, since you were looking for it earlier. And today you'll be seeing this on YouTube. Like immediately after the broadcast, I'm gonna start the processing. Now, I'm not gonna alter the video in any way, shape, and or form. I'm just gonna put it up there and let it rock and roll. Idaho, Idaho. Wherefore art thou, Idaho? <laughs> What's missing, bud? What's missing? My pink truck? There's some pink on this one, see? Yep, I got Instagram too, but I, you can't pull them up that way. They're on timers. Oh, yeah. Uh, are you going to do it? Oh, no, he's going to do it. He's going to do the thing. <laughs> that's that's what Jerd likes to play with. <laughs> All right, hang on one second, guys. We're gonna pause for just a minute. We're gonna pause for the call. All right, let's do it. <laughs> it actually made me jump, dude. No, it's all it's okay, Lord. It's all good. It's all good. I will let you uh, Q20 run the ads while you're here. And if you have to step away again, just let me know so I can take that back over, or you can pass it off to late if he doesn't mind. <laughs> Much better, huh? <laughs> oh no. Probably gotta drive a hundred miles to pick this damn thing up. Last night I worked until 4 p.m. and I ate cat food. <laughs> okay, cereal and cat food have like entirely different smells. So while that's funny, I don't buy it. Why are you having a bad day? Well, you know what? You just hang out here with us. Get on the store and use that fart noise over and over again. That'll make you giggle. Unless you want to talk. Now, if you need to talk, you're more than welcome to do so. Whoa, Mr. Turn, son of a bitch. Because <laughs> I was looking at the comments. That's all right, though. It's all good. Yeah, Laura, I, I, we were talking about that yesterday. I'm just glad you finally got some sleep, dude. I'm going to tell you what, your whole day is just absolutely ruined when you haven't had any good sleep. Yeah, here we go. I knew we had a turnaround soon. I'm glad you're feeling better as well. All right, this is where we need to be. <laughs> cat pee, cat poo, cat poo, cat, cat poo, 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 cat pee. Oh man, you have a destructive little kitty. <laughs> nah, nah, it's it's all good, Laura. It's all good. Hell, half the time I'm not myself. I don't know who I am today. Oh wait, I must be mouse because I'm doing the thing. <laughs>
I don't give a shit about the red light. Bye bye. <laughs> I had a cat that chewed through a... You know what? I had a rabbit. A rabbit named Alistair. And that little bonehead... I, somebody told me that you could train him in a litter box and just let him run the house. And while Alistair would use the litter box, that little fucker chewed up all my computer cables. All of them. I get, it, I get up one morning, I pour my coffee, I sit down to my rig, I get ready to crank it up. I hit the button, and nothing. And I was like, what the fuck? So I checked the power cables and all of them had been chewed through overnight. Uh, the wrap up, yeah. To keep, to keep uh, your animals from chewing on them? Is that, is that why, Tevers? A lot of stuff went wrong yesterday. You know what, Laura? Sometimes we just have days like that. The thing to remember is that all situations and everything that you go through every single day it's temporary even though it seems like it might be a forever thing no situation is forever everything is temporary yeah right <laughs> i bet tinfoil you ever chewed on a piece of tinfoil yeah. <laughs> there's a cop but guess what you ain't gonna get me jack because i don't give <laughs> Went to eat some flowers I was given. Turns out they were. Oh no. He didn't actually get to them, did he? Oh, he survived. Okay, well, at least he survived. I bet he didn't eat those again. <laughs> Speaking of animals, I had a, a little black dog when I lived in California when I was still married. And we named him Benji. Just a little tiny black mutt that we found. But it, he was the sweetest dog I'd ever owned. And um, I made sure he got a, a little can of wet food with his dry food every other day, right? And I know I'm in the wrong lane because I'm supposed to be turning. And I'm busy yakking, so... Anyway, um... So, one day, I noticed that he's just really not into being himself, right? Like, he's just not Benji at all. He's lethargic and he's just kind of lounging around and usually when he saw me his, his little tail would wag and he'd get all excited and um so with that old one I had to convince them that we weren't trying to kill the cat right right you know what I don't know why but vets always they want to jump to that damn needle real quick um off topic but they were talking, uh, I had a cat named Cleo, and she is one of my emotes, Princess Cleo. Um, when we first took her to the vet, first off, she was blind, and then she had, uh, she was what the vet called, what he called her a genetic mess up. Like, he wanted to put her down right away. And I was like, what the hell for? And he goes, well, she won't be a very happy cat. And it's like, well, how do you know? Let me take her home and make her, you know, give her a happy life. And I did for five years. You know what I mean? I spoiled that cat rotten. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, back to Benji. Um, the food that I was giving him was poisoning him. And I forget the brand, but there had been a recall. And thank the stars that I was watching the news the day that that recall went out. Because... I was sitting there over my coffee watching the news and I noticed it was the same brand I had been feeding Benji. So I stopped and I took him to the vet and the vet basically said, okay, listen, there's not a lot I can do. He's either going to get through this or he's not. And they still don't know what the poison was, but it was killing animals. And um, I just, I, I took him home. I made sure he was hydrated. I pretty much kept him in my lap like a baby for about three days. And after about three days, he came out of it, and he was starting to become himself. But he would not touch soft food for the rest of his life. 
uh, for the rest of his life, it was hard food. Or unless it came out of my hand, he wouldn't touch it. No, no, he didn't want to put him down. He actually told me that, you know, um, he's either going to get through it or he's not. And he didn't want to put him down. And I didn't want to put him down. Um, yeah, I, I don't know, man. Okay, if there's a possibility of a quality of life, I won't have an animal put down. But if there's not going to be a quality of life, then, you know, of course, humanely put them down and mourn them and go about your life, you know. Yeah, so my vet wasn't one to put him down. Just that my cat was uh, electrical burn, poison, dehydrated. Oh lord! Wow, that is hardcore. It, did, now, did the cat was chewing on power cables, right? That's what did it. Oh, I know. I don't mean to bum you guys out. It just it, it came up in the conversation. <laughs> The, the your cat had chewed on power cable. Yeah. yeah, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Man, my cats like the, they never did that, but they did like to chew on headphones. Like, when they were kittens, we couldn't keep headphones in the house. <laughs> I feel like my truck sound got louder. Is it too loud for you guys? Luckily, the left upside of the power brick. Not wall side. I think he would have died. Yeah, yeah. If he had got it directly from the wall, probably it would have killed him like instantly. Because he's so tiny. Now humans can take that shock, but little little animals can't. You know. No, I know you do. You know what? All you guys do. All you guys got big hearts here. I'm glad of that too, because I'm I'm pretty emo myself sometimes, especially where my animals are concerned. I treat them like I, like they were my children, you know. And Gizmo, you know, she she's the only cat I have left of four. Um, and the four that we had, each cat chose its own human, right? And uh, Dora was my daughter's cat, and Dora was. Dora was a cool cat, but like she didn't want anybody else to touch her except my daughter. And um, he literally, if you tried to touch her and you were not my daughter, she is, she would look at you like, "Go ahead, I dare you." <laughs> and then uh, Gizmo, Gizmo kind of loved everybody, so she wasn't real picky. Hungwee was the same way, but Cleo was my baby through and through. She loved everybody, but she was she was daddy's baby for real. And I think, uh, yeah, when I lost her, I I don't ever recall feeling that broken over an animal in my life. It was bad. It it took a good year or two, man, to actually mourn her properly. Right, right. Me either. Because, you know, I heard uh, a Christian apologist, and you guys might know who he is, Hank Hanegraaff, uh, the Bible Answer Man. Back when I was religious, I was hardcore into him and a couple other people. Um, but he said one time in the broadcast that an animal has a soul that is qualitatively different from that of a human. And I considered what he said for... I don't know, a good two weeks, and I came to my own conclusion that he's full of shit. Because when I hurt Gizmo's feelings, like if she's doing something she shouldn't be, and I, you know, yell at her, I can see her get her feelings hurt. Okay. Um, if uh, if I'm hurting or I'm emotional, she can pick up on it, and she, you know, tries to comfort me. Okay, something without a soul is not going to have that kind of an emotional attachment or reaction to life. You know what I mean? Um, so you can't convince me that an animal soul is different than a human's. I don't buy that shit for two seconds. 
See, that's the thing. I know everybody in this chat right now has got animals or at least loves animals. I know that for a fact. Because I've seen late for games uh, pictures of his animals, his fur babies as we call them in the nest. Uh, oh, by the way, Tebbers, if you have pictures of your animals and you'd like to post them, we have a place in the Discord for that. Now, I used to hunt, okay? When I lived in Texas, I hunted. And um, I understand humans, you know, we have to eat meat. We really do, man. Well, we kind of, I guess we don't because you can get protein from other sources. But um, it, it's, it's easier to get the protein from meat. But there's a humane way to handle that. And I don't think hunting, I, I can't hunt anymore. I don't know what happened. And now we're just kind of getting off on this thing here. Um, let's see. My cat was cuddly. But when his feelings were hurt, he'd sit next to me like he always does. But with his ears laid back to shit. Right, right. Oh, man. Yup. Oh, man. Hey, you got to post pictures of your, of your animals, man. I, I'm, I'm curious now. I want to see what, I want to see your animals. <laughs> yeah, we have a... Uh, between all the members of the rat's nest, everybody's got, most of us have animals, and there's quite the little menagerie going on there. He never wanted to be on my lap. He would sit beside me and lean against my leg. Oh. <laughs> Gizmo, Gizmo goes through phases. Um, she'll go through weeks at a time where she'll pick one human in the house, and that is her human, period. And when she picks that human, she wants to cuddle, all right? She wants to be, you know, pretty much in your lap and, and real lovey-dovey. And, and she likes to butt her head, you know. Like, she likes to butt my lips with her head. Huh. Well, I don't anymore, but it's... Okay, you still had... Pic well, okay, I will say this. If it'll be too painful for you to go through the pictures to post them, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I know when I look at pictures of Cleo, it, it, it still, it breaks me, you know? Time for a Windows update, I see. Uh, talking about animals. I just, you know, have you guys ever heard the coconut song? And in fact, um, I'm not gonna play it here because I'm trying. I'm really trying hard to get this video to YouTube without a copyright strike. But do a um, YouTube search of the Coconut Song. That was my Cleo's favorite song, and it was it was her favorite song not because she liked the song, but because she knew when she heard it that Daddy was gonna dance with her on the table. And uh, let's see, my dad and I and my sister-in-law are the only ones not alerted to cats. Not sure about my name. Oh, yeah, you were talking about that. Man, I would hate myself if I was... Well, not hate myself, but it would suck if I was allergic to cats because I love cats. I love dogs, too. I mean, just I just love animals in general. And, yeah, Laura, you're right. Baby animals are... They just... They take your heart. Man. <laughs> Any baby animal. I don't care what it is. I dance like I'm being tased, right? Me too, but okay. But I see, I didn't actually dance. What I would do is I would put Cleo on the table and stand her up. And she was a really long cat. I have one picture of her in the Discord if you want to look. If you want to look at it, but she was a really long cat, and I would put her up there, and I would like hold her shoulders and make her dance, and she would let her head just go completely limp. She looked like a freaking rag doll, but only to the coconut song. So every time the coconut song, every time she heard it, no matter where she was in the house, she would come running to the table. You know what I mean? 
I'm not allergic to animals. I'm oh, right, me too. If I was allergic to animals, I would cry. Please pull in. I gotta turn all. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Okay. I guess we just cross over. You're not supposed to cross over a double yellow, man. <laughs> Right, right. That's me too, man. Especially Gizmo Cuddles. Oh, oh, guys, this is cute. I got her a big old bucket of treats from Chewy, right? Like, she has her own profile on Chewy and everything. So I got her this big-ass bucket of treats, and she's not supposed to have more than, like, five of them at a time. But what I do is I'll, I'll be... She thinks she's being sneaky. Like, I'll just open the lid and let her get her own treats out. And then I'll go pour a cup of coffee or whatever. And then when I come back, I'll put the lid back on. She's good to go. But she thinks she's getting away with something when daddy's not watching her. And she's getting her treats. Yeah. Cuddle your dog a lot. Yeah. Cats and dogs are real good for your emotional state, man. Especially if you're prone to depression. And I can only speak for myself. Because I'm not sure about the rest of you guys and you don't need to go into detail in chat because you know you'd be putting yourself out on blast but I am prone to bipolar depression um, I do my best not to let it affect my life but sometimes it just jumps up and kicks me in the ass wish you had a dog again the last dog that I had I had two I bought two massive pups well I bought them when they were pups I paid 500 a piece for them they turned out to be the best dogs ever they were huge they were like 150 pounds a piece um, when they were full grown but piggy the lovable one of the two did not realize that she was 150 pounds and when that dog wanted a cuddle she was gonna get her cuddle you know what I mean uh, it was not uncommon for her to just come barreling across the living room and jump in my lap and almost break my face <laughs> with her big butt, you know. But all she wanted was some daddy cuddles. And there was a cat that pushed the hungry and food button repeatedly. Wait, like the button. The owner hit the, the ladder button so the cat then went over and hammered the mad button. Oh, wow. Then the catnip button. You see, th you see that's, that's what I'm telling you guys about. You can't convince me that an animal soul is different than a human's. There's no way. No way in hell. The life force is the exact same. It's the same across the board. Maybe some lesser organisms, you know, but I, I can't... I consider animals to be higher organisms than most. Uh, and in fact, in a lot of ways, I, I consider them to be a lot better than humans because they're more loyal. Um, if a cat or a dog gives you their heart, it's, it's yours for life. You know what I mean? Unless you break that bone. Right, yeah, right. If you're not going to feed me, just give me the drugs. Oh, you should see my gizmo and catnip. Funny story too, I bought her catnip from uh, Chewy.com, which is where I get all her stuff from. By the way, I am plugging Chewy, so if you guys have animals, Chewy is awesome. They have great prices. And uh, I shouldn't be doing commercials right now. But anyway, <laughs> I bought her catnip from there and it was really cute the way they had it packaged because it was packaged like a bunch of marijuana cigarettes, alright? And it's called Meow Juana. I should post a picture of it to the Discord and show you guys. It was really cute. And uh, so what I do with Gizmo, what we try to do with her is we'll give her a little bit of catnip and then we'll let her eat or, you know, uh, have some snacks or whatever. <laughs> Just to play the game. Yep, mine does too. She Well, she'll go two ways. She'll either roll around in it like a goon <laughs> you know what I mean? and Or she will eat it. Right. 
Right. Right, right. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to... I don't know, man. Maybe somebody from Chewy will catch it, but do I see something here that's cool? Wait, what is here? What is that? Oh, guys, I think this is a cutscene. I've been looking for one of these. All right, this is a new feature for this DLC. Oh, yeah, sweet. All right. Are we ready? I'm so glad I found that. Please stop your engine. Yeah. That's our first cutscene for this DLC, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome sauce. Oh, that is so cool. All right, I'm glad I found that. Do we need fuel? I don't know. Do we need fuel? I haven't been checking. Ah, uh, come on. Let's see. While we're here. Uh, oh, Lord. Yeah, we do need fuel. Oh, shit. I'm glad we stopped. We were like on empty watch. You guys will see when I go to fill up. Because <laughs> I'm busy bullshitting. I love it. Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, what the hell? We didn't need fuel. Oh, okay, never mind. I must have missed Oh, you know what? Dummy me, I was looking at the clock. <laughs> Idiot boy. Come on, did I get stuck? I did. Oh, there we go. Okay. And you have to pee and get smokes, Don. No smokes. Pee maybe, but no smokes. Besides that, if I lit up a cigarette right now, you know, my daughter would come in here and on stream kick my ass. It took me way too long to get off those bad boys. <laughs> Well, I am glad we found that cutscene. I knew they were here because I, I saw Mom catch like two of them. And I've been seeing other streamers catch them too, but I hadn't caught one yet. Uh, by the way, Maldred, uh, he's on my recommended streamers list. He's the guy that I follow. He's a, he, I think he plays exclusively, or at least streams exclusively, American Truck Sim. But uh, I hung out with him and Tats for about two hours yesterday. And they were doing AT. Well, okay, so Tess was actually working on the back end for Mulder's channel, and Mulder was driving. Too bad there isn't a camera. Well, okay, there is one, and I could turn it on, but like I would be violating TOS right now, dude. Um, but although I feel stupid because it's not really hot right now, I probably could have rambled the camera today. I'll tell you guys what, uh, if I start early enough and it's not super hot, I'll go ahead and turn the camera back on Monday. How's that? Besides, you guys haven't seen my Twitch hat in a while. <laughs> Is that another one? No? Sorry, I'm being a little touristy right now. Nope. Okay. Still haven't showered yet, just being lazy. Nah, no problem. If you hey, if you gotta go shower, it's cool. Wait for games is here, and if need be, I can run the ads. Which, uh, it's time, guys. Whoever wants to do that. Yeah, it has been pretty hot, but like right now, I, I could have actually streamed 
uh, with a camera. Like, it's comfortable to me right now. My house is a nice, comfortable 68, and it'll stay that way until about 2. And then it'll just start gradually cranking its way up to 80. <laughs> But like, if Monday is the same as today, I, I can actually run with the camera. Well, you can. I mean, Laura, you got to go do what you got to do, baby. Well, it, it feels that way to me too, but I mean, I, if, okay, if you're not comfortable, you're not really gonna enjoy the stream, right? So if you go and take a shower, then now we're only going to run for like another 35 minutes unless on the other end of this, you guys want me to go another two hours. If you guys want me to go another two hours, I'll be more than happy to do it. Okay, cool. If you just hit that lurk command, because I don't see anybody using that lately. Hit the lurk command, go do your bit, and then remember we have a return command too. Yes, I'm plugging my commands. Let's see, high of 93 on Monday? Yeah. Yeah, it, it, oh, this coming Monday, 93? Okay, ugh. Well, my house, okay, my house actually maintains a decent temperature until afternoon, and then it starts to get hot. But it's a gradual thing like you, you barely notice it because it happens so gradually but by five in the evening my house is like 80 81 degrees and i'm like oh fuck. <laughs> there we go that's what i like to see right there i love that command if you guys can think uh i think it was either taya i don't remember who it was now i feel like a shit it was either taya or it was uh baby bunny that set that one up is this another one is this a viewpoint here? Nope. It does look cool though. Let's ride in there real quick. Too bad it can't get out of the damn truck. Like in farm sim. That does look cool. I took a couple of pictures today that I haven't posted to Steam yet, but uh. Okay, I'm not gonna hit him. It does look really cool. I could just imagine being down there, man. Got a campfire going and shit. Hot cup of coffee. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, I hope so too, because you know what, this, especially like with areas like this, this game would be so much more immersive if you could get out of the truck and go look around, you know what I mean? Now granted, um, they'd have to figure out how to set the time so that it wasn't running super fast while you were out of the truck, because if you pay attention to the clock on the dash there of the truck, the time is running super fast as the truck runs, but it doesn't really slow down when it stop, watch. You see, it, it's it's actually running faster when I stop. Huh. Oh, one second, you guys. Yeah, exactly. Oh, hey, there she is. There's Taya. What's up, baby? We were just talking about you. Correct me if you would be so kind, darling. Did you help me set up the alert command, or was it Baby Bunny that did that? Hey, 
and yes, if you had control, like if you could like stop the time long enough for you to get out of the truck and go look around, and then get back in the truck and turn it back up. Like, let's say they made it automatic so you couldn't cheat the game, right? Like, when you get out of the truck, time stops. And then when you get back in, it goes right back to normal. Oh, I, I didn't even see the command come up, dude. That is so my bad. Okay, so since you're here, I'm just going to let you handle it, okay? I've been lurking a while just on long distance call and realized I didn't say hello. No, it's cool. It's cool. I'm just glad you're here, honey. And late for games, I'll tell you what, but I didn't see the command because I wasn't paying attention. But you got this, okay? Did we miss anything back here? Is there a... Did you guys see? Can't really see. No, okay. Because those, uh, those video cutscenes are like, they're all over the place. Think Bunny did lurk? Okay, okay. I knew it was one of you guys, because both of you have helped me with my commands, so. Uh, go ahead and, I don't know, got quite a few people in here. Go ahead and just do the 60 so it doesn't become a big pain in the ass. Like, we don't want crazy commercial lengths, because that's just stupid. And 90 was a bit much, I think. But, uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and keep it at 60. Thank you, sir. Uh, Taya, is young Connor there with you? It's funny. Uh, the movement of the truck in the second screen keeps making me look at the chat as if something's going on in the chat, right? Because I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> but yesterday I was doing that and I crashed. Nope, he's off in his room with the tablet. Okay, well. You can go ahead and tell the little dude I said hello when you see him again. If he's like I was when I, when I was a kid, he's not going to see mama again until lunchtime. <laughs> Late for games, you streamed like at eleven thirty last night, right? Well, I just want you to know I saw uh your notification on your discord and i think ours too but uh it was like super late man so i didn't catch it i was already uh i was watching a movie with my daughter and then i went to bed okay lurking to take a walk before it gets too hot all right dude hey you have a great walk and if you come back we'll see you i i'm not sure if this is going to go until noon or if it's going to go till two it just depends on what everybody wants uh and i'll be asking again in about 29 minutes or All right, cool. And thank you, Taya. Thank you. Don't hit me. You could have looked both ways, Mouse. You big dummy. <laughs> Dude, do you walk like you drive? Maybe so. Let's see. Books. What did that say? I couldn't read that sign. We're probably going to have to weigh right here anyway. Let's see. Do we have to weigh? Because we haven't had to weigh yet. Nope. Well, shit. <laughs> now, it, nowadays, if I'm going live, it's it's best Twitch notification. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so you weren't actually streaming. Okay. Uh, just let me know when you're actually going to be streaming, man, so I can catch you and actually watch, okay? 
because I haven't seen you stream in a while. Kind of miss hanging out in your chat. <laughs> Speed limit is 45 and we are doing way over that. Okay, slow down, bruh. truck is that? That is the Kenworth W900. Uh, let me see. Can you read that username? RMV18. Okay, yeah, this is the Kenworth W900 and give it a look see. Yeah, this is a pretty nice truck. Um, we had I don't know if you play ATS, but if you do, there are a handful of trucks here. Um, I like this one because when I first started playing, I couldn't handle this truck. And I hated it, and I never would drive it, and I would avoid runs at the beginning that put me in it. Um, but now I prefer this truck over all the rest of it. <laughs> 8 or 9 p.m. is perfect for me, dude, because I'm usually just getting out of the shower and chilling, so... If you happen to be streaming right when I'm all comfortable for the night, I'll be chilling. I'm only like 15 hours in. The game is fun. Super. Oh man, you are not lying. This, I have had this game since it came out uh, back in 2016. It was out for about a month before I got it. But before I bought it, I played the demo. And my favorite thing to do honestly is to get up in the morning with my coffee and sit here in front of my 1080p screen and just play ATS until the wheels fall off my truck <laughs> and I think I have close to 2,000 hours or better in in the last four or five years now this profile is like completely modded uh, because I didn't feel like grinding it out because we're exploring Idaho so you'll notice uh, let me pause real quick you see you'll notice I've got like 18 million dollars that's from a mod that I used just to give me a boost I used it twice and then I took it off and then we're running a no damage mod and I turned off the traffic infractions because uh, we're really just exploring and I'm not worried about actually playing as much as we're just riding around Idaho because <laughs> Idaho just dropped yesterday and I got it like it dropped and I had it five minutes later so yeah keeping an eye out for more of those cutscenes because those are really cool you know I think they should go through guys and, and this is my opinion I want to get your guys opinion um, in lieu of the well because the cutscene that we just saw okay I think that looked really cool and I'd like to see them go through and put those types of cutscenes in all the really cool shit they had to look at in these in this game for every state Hey, you fellas are driving super slow. <laughs> no, no, it's not a mod. Okay, it's a new feature. Um, do you have Idaho yet? Um, this is something that they did with Idaho, and I know you missed it because you weren't here when we did it, but I just stumbled across... Um, a little floating uh, movie projector and I knew what it was because I'd seen other people use them but uh, let's see only time I see cutscenes are the stupid special escorts oh yeah special escorts 
Yeah, I don't even have that DLC because I have it for um, ES, um, ETS2, and, but I hated it and I don't play it. it. And I'm not impugning on the work because SES put a lot of work in that DLC, but I personally don't like it, so I don't even mess with it. Come on, fellas. I do have a no damage mod. I suppose I could pass these two guys. Let's go. Hopefully we won't get traffic coming the other way. <laughs> Buh bye. Never pass on a double yellow. Thank you. Come again. You're next, bud. I'm coming. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Bye bye. All right, now the road is ours, baby. Uh, how do ETS graphics compare? It? Actually, roughly about the same. Now in ETS2, I actually run a graphics mod to make it even better, but I'd say that it's about the same. the The major difference is that it's not um, okay. Like with this game, if you want to go across the country, you've got to have a mod, okay? But in ETS2, you start out with thousands of kilometers of map to drive on without buying any DLCs, okay? And uh, actually, I'd say, yeah, thousands or so. Uh, like the entirety of Europe, just about. And then you can add on the other DLCs, which gives you even more driving space. Whereas in this game, until recently, it felt like you were really driving around in circles. But now that they've been adding uh, so much content to this game, I can actually get in here and drive and feel like I've got room to stretch my legs. But as far as graphics go, I'd say roughly about the same. I'm hauling ass through here, but I'm also trying to find those cutscene uh, floaties. Oh, wow, that's kind of cool. Hey, we're going to stop right here for a minute, guys. going to make the guy behind us mad, but I want to look. I'm being a looky little. Wow. That's awesome. The water textures in these games just blows me away, man. Been driving like a maniac the whole game and I finally decided to use a turn signal. <laughs> oh hey. Well thank you for the follow over there on V18. Let me ask you a question before we go any further. Are you a streamer yourself? Okay, all right. Well, I'll tell you what. If you ever decide to actually get into it full time like some of us are, let me know, and I'll see to it that every time you show up here, you get a shout out. Okay. Or if you'd like a shout out now, just for the hell of it, let me know, and uh, Lay for Games can shoot you or uh, shout you out real quick. I say shoot you out. <laughs> uh, I need more coffee or some shit. Come on, get out of my way, dude. Bye bye. Wow. Okay, now I like this intersection. That is cool looking. Check that out. Kind of reminds me of parts of L.A. I <laughs> turned green right as I got here.
<laughs> All right, come on, dog. Okay, so this song right here is actually one of my favorite on this CD here. <laughs> In fact, I believe it's the uh, end screen outro that I have as well. We can all thank my baby brother for allowing us to use his music. Yeah. And also for the band Sinezra. Uh, these guys, I've watched them come up from nobody. You know what I mean? Um, used to help them pack up their gear and take them off the shows. And it was a good time. Oh, the, the command is actually returned, Laura, but thank you anyways. <laughs> Exclamation mark return. It's a really cute message, too. Baby Bunny helped me work it up. No, no, it is, but okay, it's exclamation mark uh, return. Here. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> I love that command. No, 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 it's cool. It's cool. Also, there's a list of commands, too. Like, it, for those of you who are, uh, especially for our end, um, for our newest follower who's. I, I just saw his. Hang on, hang on a minute. You scroll back up in the chat because I feel like a goon right now. RMV18. Okay, so if you type in exclamation mark commands, it'll take you to a, it'll give you a link that takes you to all the commands I have available for you guys. And we are working on more, although that's kind of slowed up a bit because I'm more concentrated on just streaming of late. Where are we going here? Okay. I always forget about the Yeah, yeah, I do too. You know what? It's my channel and I do too. <laughs> it's all good, man. I'm I'm one of those people that if I didn't have my head attached to my shoulders, I'd probably lose it. All right, now the next one, we're not going to take super long because um, I'm trying to hurry up and get this uh, event knocked out. But I got a question for you guys because we're about a quarter, we're about 15 minutes from noon, which, oh, I wasn't going to stop till 1230, so I'm going to shut up. Never mind. <laughs> All right, but the next one's not going to be super long, so... I have it on mine too and I forget about that. Yeah. Speaking of yours, when are you going to stream again? Because I want to see it. And by the way, since you are kind of a streamer yourself, please shout yourself out. Oh yeah, this is uh, for RMV18 too. I, um, I don't know if you've already seen it, but we also have a Discord. Hey, okay, there's Laura's shout out uh, and a connect to her channel and also for our Discord, The Rat's Nest. All right, and there's number four. So let's do number five. Trying to stay in Idaho. Anti Washington, yeah. All right, there's one. How far away? 192. All right, good deal. I honestly forgot that I didn't start till 10:30. You guys, 
You see what I mean? But if I don't keep my head on my, if my head wasn't attached to my shoulders, I would lose it because I actually forgot that I started at 10:30 instead of 10. <laughs> That's what I get for changing my own schedule. Oh, these guys are busting ass up here, huh? Can we get through here? Oh yeah, we got plenty of room. I'll bet if we had gone up here and hit the little icon, we probably would have been hauling that big bastard. <laughs> Is there Im Im Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, right at the top end. Yeah, I forgot about that. Mostly because I don't go looking at my own profile. <laughs> I need to stream again, but I don't know when I will again. I don't have a schedule. I always seem to get interrupted. Yeah, I was like that too. I, I actually had to make it happen. You know what I mean? Like... And I'm just going to say it like it was. I had to kind of be a dick about it. You know, it's like, okay, I'm doing this. And this is the time I'm going to do it. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> but now, Laura, I don't expect you to be like that. Because that is too far out of your character. There is a lot of construction going on around here. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say guys, if you don't already have it, Idaho is well worth the $12 that Steam is selling it for. Uh, although I imagine if you waited, there would be another sale and you can get it for cheaper, but it's worth it. Oop. Come on, dog. And like the DLC just dropped yesterday and I immediately went to putting mods on my profile and I haven't had any crashes. Um, so hats off to the mods, to the people who make the mods because if they don't keep them regularly updated, they're going to crash anyway. So. I might start the stream and then get a knock. Yeah, yeah, get a knock on the door. See, okay, like I have my own space to stream and nobody comes in here when I'm streaming and then I have folks, you know, my family, they pretty much man the doors and the phones and whatnot, so. Um, I have some advantages, I guess, that some people don't have in that regard. I think uh, when I go to when I'm able to rumble my camera again, I think it's time to get Gizmo back on the screen for you guys. <laughs> I should put on. Yeah, see, you could do that too. Do not disturb, at least for the time that you're streaming. You know what I mean? Just don't do like I would and forget to take it off. Because <laughs> if I did something like that, I would forget to take it off, and then I'd be like, "How come nobody came to the house today?" <laughs> Oh, I like that. It's their version of Home Depot, huh? <laughs> I have seen that before. I just uh, never really paid attention. And there's a recruitment agency up the way there. Awesome. Okay, so our ride is actually back here. 
I want to make sure when we come out we go across that recruitment agency because I've got four trucks that are sitting in the garage with nobody driving them. Now, let's see the setup. Okay, I see. Got it. You guys couldn't see me right now, but I was leaned over in my chairs. If I could look further around the truck, <laughs> from leaned over in my chair. That shit's funny. Oh, that was so sloppy. You see how forgiving the game is on that shit, though? Uh, I should see if I can make uh, a do not disturb sign. You, uh, if you have a printer, you could probably do it right from your computer. Or you could probably get one from Amazon if you had the money. See, I was going to do that at first. Like, I was going to put, uh, you know, stream in progress, do not disturb on my uh, recording space door. But I decided against it because... You know, once I let everybody know, hey, this is how it's going to go, uh, then it was pretty cool. Yeah, even if it's just made on paper. But, I like, if you're going to do that, I would, like, laminate it so that the weather doesn't, like, shred it. Let's go discover this real quick, even though we have a trailer connected. There we go. Got it. All right, so we're just going to go out this way. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, crayon and paper works too, but still the paper now, you want to be careful that the weather doesn't pass the paper. Like I would, if you have it, I would use like cardstock. And if you don't have it, regular paper will work and, or you can laminate it. Uh, I'm talking as if you have a laminator because I, I had a laminator for years. I used it for everything. You don't have a printer either? Okay, well then, I, I would, you just do what you can do. You just improvise and adapt, you know? You work with what you got. Okay, so for anyone just joining this broadcast, I am doing my level best to stay exclusively in Idaho for the remainder of the broadcast. I do not want to leave this state while we're here for today. Because this DLC just dropped yesterday and I'm working on the community event and this is number five of eleven my apartment in hang on one second my apartment is inside a building with other apartments. Oh, won't get wet, so it's kind of hard to explain. Like, different rooms in one building. I gotcha. There's Death Muffin. What's up, buddy? How are you, my son? <laughs> you doing alright? Looks like all the mobs are here just about. We're missing Siren, but she might be busy. Oh, she's streaming right now? Okay. Uh, if you have her tab open, can you do me a favor? Pop in there and tell her her daddy said hi, please.
<laughs> Lights green, stupid, go. <laughs> I just sat here. I thought, I actually did think I, I thought I saw her go live just as I was. You know what I mean? So, it makes sense. It's all good. She had a really good uh, just chatting last night with a couple of trolls. Dirty bastards. <laughs> and I got a sneaking suspicion that was a little kid. Um, I'm not even going to mention the name because I don't care, really. But I think it was just a little kid and he was bored and mommy and daddy weren't watching him so he decided to go make some trouble. Whoa, okay, so speed limit's only 45. I was doing 60 right now. <laughs> Slow down, dude. That's how you get yourself killed. What do we got going on in here? All right, hang on, guys. Got something I want to look at. Oh, okay. That's cool. Anybody want to go rent a boat? Go fishing? Water skiing? They did a great job on this on this state. I wonder if we can go down here. Oh, no. They got it blocked off. Now, if I were to detach... Um, if I were to detach the trailer, I think I could get down in there. How much time we got on this run? Let me see. 19 hours? Okay, I'll tell you what. We are going to disconnect the trailer. And hope we don't get stuck. <laughs> Let's see if I can get down in here. There might be a, a wall. Nope. Oh yeah, there is. Man, that sucks. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna go exploring, man. Look at the guy behind me. He's like, you bastard. Alright, I guess we just need to be working, not messing around. I have to do that on my own time. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Oh is, that, oh, is that what you're doing right now? <laughs> you playing, uh, what are you playing? What game? What game? Far, oh, Far Cry. I love Far Cry. I don't have the fifth one, though. I have one and two. I have this uh, OCD about games. Like I have a broken set right now, so it's driving me crazy not to own the other four or other three. But I want to get them in order. Like I don't want to play them out of order. Some crazy Australian gifted me the uh, Far Cry 5 and Far Cry New Dawn on Steam. Hey, that's awesome, dude. That's awesome. Far Cry 2, um, I don't know, I, I like it, but it seemed like you spend more time driving around to your objective than actually being engaged in any kind of action. But then once the action does start, it, it's on, dude, you know? It's just that there's that law where you're just kind of driving and trying not to get shot in the face. <laughs> His uh, reasoning is, it's Friday, have fun. Hey, dude, you know what? That's cool. Do, you know what you do in that situation? You accept it gracefully and you pay it forward. You know what I mean? Like, whenever you can, you just pay that shit forward.
like um, I've had a bunch of games since I started streaming purchased for me from you know followers and friends late for games he got me farm sim uh, 19 and you know uh, let's see can't wait to get cheeseburger best companion in the game what is cheeseburger I know what a cheeseburger is but what is cheeseburger in the game now you make me hungry. <laughs> it is almost it is lunchtime actually. Uh. Cheeseburger is a grizzly bear. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So cheeseburger actually is your ally, right? Like once you have him, uh, he helps you kick a little ass, right? Is that how it works? Because I've never played that game. Yep, he is a companion you can have. Oh, sweet. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that. You know, there's certain classes in Borderlands that I play because of that reason, like, uh,. Like I play a lot of uh, the Mechromancer Gage because of Death Trap. Because when you're playing solo, having a character like that, it's like having two people playing, you know? Uh, it is the most redneck game I've ever played. <laughs> oh man, that is awesome in a way. <laughs> It's not often I see the term redneck used outside of this country. <laughs> That's funny. See, I moved out here uh, from California and I adopted a lot of redneck ways since I moved out here. <laughs> but then there's some that I just refuse to take on myself and we won't mention those here for sensitivity reasons. But uh, we have to wait. You, man, I haven't had to wait yet, have I? I'm looking for a cutscene. I still don't see any more. Huh? Whatever. Who's that? Uh, no. Wait, what? Gamora, what is that too? What is that a link to? Hang on, I gotta go back over the chat real quick, guys. You can drive around, I shit you not, in a green fucking farm, hang on, in a green fucking farm tractor with an AR-15 and a car. <laughs> nice. It's mostly for Laura. Oh, her sign issue. Okay, cool. Well, thank you then for that. When this run is complete, guys, I'm either going to take a break or we're going to end the broadcast. I'll let you guys decide. Let's see. I gotta lend you my theme and Ubisoft account sometimes so you can try the game. We'll love it. That'd be cool. Um, I didn't even know you could do that, but I, you might want to be careful. I'm not even sure if that's like uh, not violating some TOS for uh, Steam or whatnot. I don't know. I never checked into that. Never had that come up before. What's funny, Laura? Oh no, no, I'm gonna crash. That's not gonna be funny. If we flip this sucker, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> We come down that hill pretty fast, huh? Ugh. So are we supposed to stop here? Or you just were stopping because you dirty no good. Oh, okay, okay, cool, okay. Alright, then as long as nobody gets in any trouble. 
All right, anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, when this run is finished, I'm either going to take a 10 minute break or I'm gonna continue on until two o'clock. I'll let you guys decide, okay? Or excuse me, I'm either gonna take a break and continue till two or we're gonna end the broadcast. That's what I meant to say, duh. <laughs> share your account details with untrusted people yeah right you hope so what Laura oh, okay okay you got you that you and wait what's beeping what happened did I miss something was I supposed to stop yeah I think I was okay thousand pounds I don't even forgot what we were hauling you that sign on your front on your front door <laughs> Yeah, with something like that, I guess you would just want it short and sweet, right? Driving on the wrong side of the road like a goon. So far, I'm digging Idaho, man. I, I've got tired of driving around in the damn desert. Although, they did take steps to kind of remedy that with Oregon and Washington. But uh, I'm telling you, for the most part, uh, this game started out mostly desert. <laughs> and it gets really boring after a while, you know? See how many miles we got left here. 32? Okay, cool. Seven days. Oh no, I don't have seven days to die, and I've been wanting that game actually. And I didn't mean to, uh, like, I wasn't ignoring you. It's just early morning, especially on stream days, I'm like super busy. I'm doing a mad rush trying to get ready. You know what I mean? I know it doesn't seem like a lot of work goes into this, but on stream days, I'm super busy. Well, you could have. Look, sometimes that's what you got to do with me, though, man. Cut, literally, man. Oh, we got a, we got a spot here. This is not going to be a cutscene, but I do want to see. Oh, wow. Check it out, dudes. That looks cool. That would be a good picture. What do you guys think? You think that'd be a good picture? Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get that. You guys get to see how it works. Go to photo mode. These will go up on my World of Trucks contracts or my World of Trucks profile. I'm gonna swing back around here because I want to get that sun in the bloom. Yeah. Yeah. Come down a little bit. 
Which button is down? I forgot. Not that one. Oop. There we go. Cool. <laughs> I love doing that shit. Alright, cool. Let's get out of here. We almost there anyway. Anyway, Death Muffin, like I was saying, uh, sometimes you gotta do that with me. Like, uh, Tabor can tell you, man. Sometimes I gotta be reminded of shit over and over again. <laughs> you gotta get more tea. Yeah, I'm about to get some more coffee here. But you guys, uh, you haven't let me know whether I'm taking a break keeping on or am we gonna go are we gonna go ahead and end the broadcast here pretty quick Yeah, but okay, I wouldn't I wouldn't call that blowing it up. You just reminding me, you know, like I, I I most likely didn't read the question and in fact I don't recall reading you asking whether or not I had that game. So, uh it, that would not be your fault. And if you had to remind me or just you know, sometimes you gotta shake a dude up on his face to get his attention, man. <laughs> And see, I'll take that from you where I wouldn't take it from a lot of people, you know? You know what? Let's just swing in here. Even though we don't really need it at the moment. Well, we can't get in that way anyway. We gotta come in the other way. That's fine. We'll get fuel on the way out. Yeah, baby. Yeah, see? <laughs> Shake it twice. That's it. You, you have to understand, Death Muffin, I spend 90% of my day wide open at 90 miles an hour. Okay? And my brain is literally moving faster than everything else around me. And so, I, I, I'm i trying to follow it. So, a lot of times, I'm just so caught up in trying to just keep the momentum going all day long. That I lose a lot of shit in the process. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't say that. I was old. Old, okay. I'll give you that one. But not unstable. What I am is constantly on the go. You know what I mean? And and when I say on the go, I don't mean like I'm always going places. Because if I can avoid it, I don't go anywhere. But I'm, I'm always thinking. I'm always trying to get the next project going. I'm always working on something. I don't have much time, might be walking with a friend in an hour or so. I think your streams are great, but if you need to take a break and eat, we want you to take care of you. Oh yeah, definitely. Like I, I was planning on stopping at twelve thirty, but if you guys are enjoying yourself, we can keep we can keep it going until two. Okay. Failing that, I'm gonna go ahead and stop in about well, this will probably be the last run because we won't have time to do another one. No, uh, that's not how you do it. Don't, don't do it. Ah, uh, man. Did it count it? I hope it did. I did it wrong. <laughs> oh, good, it counted. Okay, cool. Guys, I'll be right back, okay?
Okay, anyway, <laughs> so I got up to uh, go out of the room for just a moment to grab something to drink, and I tripped over the cord that was here connected to my laptop, and it fell and snapped off a piece of the battery pack from the looks of it. <laughs> oh, Evil, thank you for the host if you're here, man. appreciate that. Anyway... Okay, so it is almost 12.30, and since I already almost broke something, <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and call it right here. Um, guys, thank you for hanging out. Look, do we go on a raid or what? You guys want to go on a raid? Let's see. Who do I see? Oh, I see somebody right here. You guys, we're going to go on a raid. We're going to go visit. Uh, let's see. Who do we go visit? Let's go visit Hive. What do you guys say? Copy him. Let me see. Let me set the rate up and then we'll do the outro and I'll get out of here. Okay, so let me see. Yeah. Alright, I got the raid set up, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the outro. Well, no, the laptop is okay. I think it just snapped off a little piece of the battery pack. And it was my fault for not being spatially aware, but when I got up, the cable to it was around my foot, and as I moved, I dragged it with me. So, <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I will be back on Monday with a full four hour stream, and I believe we're gonna go ahead and bust out some Frambo on Monday. Okay? Uh, in the meantime, if you need me for anything today, you can catch me on the Discord. And this video is also going to go out on YouTube immediately following the broadcast. So, until Monday, peace.